and I'm always ready to fight. So let's do this now, right now. All right, it'll be the double X Diva Alexis against Raquel. Well, an impromptu match underway, being joined by Gianna Perazzo. Hi, guys. This is about to go down. Oh! And Raquel, this is a fight that she does not want. She was taunting Chelsea Green, who unfortunately is not cleared to compete. The same could be said for Alexis's opponent who unfortunately, Candice LeRae suffered a knee injury last night. She's not able to compete here today. The doctors will not clear her, but Alexis may kill Raquel in a WWR ring here tonight. I think so. Raquel is not ready for what Alexis has to bring tonight, so she's gonna get her lesson tonight. You think that perhaps there's some jealousy between Raquel and Chelsea Green? I mean, she, I mean, it certainly didn't sound like it. Like, she, she said she's competing on television for TNA. Well, unfortunately, Chelsea Green has been sidelined with a collarbone injury. Yeah, I definitely think there's been jealousy since Tough Enough. If, you, if everyone watched that show, none of those girls got along together. Um, and Chelsea being the only wrestler, it definitely put a, a target on her back. So to bring it here, I'm not surprised Gabby interrupted her. Well, right now, Alexis has a target. She's picked it on the chest of Raquel. She throws her into the corner. Firing a shot to the midsection. But I was trying to use those legs to wrap around the head and the arm. Oh, what a submission. That's really inventive. She's not going to be able to pick up a victory from this position because she's holding on to the ropes, but certainly maximize that four count. Now Raquel waiting for Alexis to get back up to her feet. Size her up, just taking her down with that clothesline. She has been training quite a bit in Florida, so I'm surprised that she can really take Alexis down this fast with as little training as she's had. And she's been training, she's five days a week uh, alongside Santana Garrett, who we're going to yes. be competing against in the main event later on tonight. Mm -hmm. But it almost seems like still this issue between Raquel and Chelsea has taken precedence as Raquel seems to be concentrating all of her attacks. I mean, she's obviously attacking Alexis, but still yeah. making eye contact and taunting Chelsea, who cannot physically interject herself. The doctors will not allow it. I think that she's really going to have to focus if she wants to get this one over Alexis. She can't worry about Chelsea and what Chelsea's doing. Oh, look at that. Nice cross on breaker. Alexis trying to get to the ropes. Really struggling right here. She might have her elbow hyperextended. God forbid a broken arm here at WWR. And Alexis trying to fold her up on the mat. Oh, and it forces Gabby to break. Of course, fans of Tough Enough know her as Gabby. Recently making her debut as Raquel on TNA. That snap suplex right into the pin. Now starting to get frustrated with the official. I mean, I think that Kevin Quinn's doing a good job calling the match fair and square. Absolutely, and I think Chelsea's done a really good job of keeping out. Um, Gabby's just really gonna have to focus. A lot of submissions. She does do a lot of MMA and jiu-jitsu training down in Florida with Santana as well, so I think that's really going to play a factor here. I think that's uh, incredible that there's so many athletes that are, you know, training in multiple uh, styles of fighting, obviously professional wrestling, uh, more traditional on a professional wrestling show, but you do see that mixed martial arts influence as Chelsea Green is trying to rally the support for Alexis, who did come to her fight on her behalf. Oh, and she switches to a Fujiwara. That is incredible. I, th I think the training on the independent scene now is better than ever before. You you, you trained alongside uh, at, the, at the Monster Factory, correct? A little bit, yes. Uh, yeah. We saw um, you know Miranda Vanette a little bit earlier, who had a very impressive showing. Mm. Yeah, I've wrestled Miranda a lot, and she has a, a great MMA background. That's a lot of what they teach there. Um, and it's definitely tough for us wrestlers to get a grasp on that, because it's not who we're trained in. So you can see Alexis is really struggling with this. Now, you said that you did share the ring with Miranda in the past. Tonight's encounter against Santana Garrett is a first time encounter? Yes, first time ever. Of course, both of you both of you, skyrocketing in popularity after multiple appearances on NXT, but yeah. you've been able to compete in Ring of Honor and TNA. I mean, you, you are a journeywoman, as it were, <laughs> uh, pretty much reinventing the sport of independent professional wrestling for women athletes in America. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this past year has been a little crazy for me, but I'm happy to be here tonight and compete against someone who's on um, a caliber in her own, in her own right. 
And this is where Gabby, Raquel, whatever you want to call her, does not want to find himself. No. Back to her corner because Alexis is brutal with those strikes. Oh, man. Now, Alexis does like to use that flying hip attack. Maybe a little bit lower than the hips. Oh, man. No, no, that's not <laughs> showing any respect. Measure, right? Yeah, not, not showing any respect to her opponent, just as her opponent has been disrespecting her the entire time. You know time. what? It's, it's deserved. <laughs> oh, come on, Kevin Quinn. Oh, my gosh. Who put this dirty old man on the show? Raquel just blasted her from behind. I think that she's in cahoots. She might have stuffed her pocket. I think Kevin Quinn was paid in the back. She paid him off. Oh, just a glancing blow able to take her off her feet. And I think, I think that she was able to connect with more of the sole of her boot. That could have been the difference between a two count and finishing off her opponent, Alexis. I think so. She's really going to have to lay it in to keep Alexis down. But that's where the inexperience comes into play. She had her opponent down and basically walked Victor right into that. Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Wow. And that is why you don't want to pick a fight with a wrestler. Well, Alexis, the veteran, picking up the victory, had the moral support, not only the fans here near her hometown, but also Chelsea Green. And Gianna, I want to wish you the best of luck, your first time encounter with Santana Garrett, our main event here tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Bye -bye. One more time for Alexis and Miss Chelsea Green.